All right, another super duper quick video. Uh, this is a 3D render that I made uh, looking at Snaefell from the beach at St. Bees uh, with a viewer height of 50 meters. Uh, but what I've done is set these five columns up uh, at differing distances away. So this one is 10 Ks, 20 Ks, 30 Ks, 40 Ks, and 50 kilometers away from the beach. Uh, each column is 100 meters high, and then I've given each 10 meter band a different color. Uh, and I did that basically so you can see easily where they intersect with the horizon. Um, so the goal of this video is to basically check that the Metabunk Curve Calculator mathematics are correct and they match what we would see in a, uh, a render diagram that doesn't actually use that calculator. Um, but here are the inputs into my rendering program. So I've set up my observer at the beach uh, on St. Bees and set an observer height of 50 metres, uh, which will change that shortly. Uh, Snaefell is here and we're looking, the centre of our camera is pointed roughly halfway up Snaefell. Uh, here are the latitude and longitude coordinates of each column and if you wanted to check that these were 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 kilometres away you may do so. Uh, Alright so now we're going to change our observer height to 2 metres uh, and see if the curve calculator predictions are accurate. So I've already plugged these into the Metabunk uh, website and picked up the geometric hidden amount uh, and the reason why I picked the geometric hidden in this case is basically because my 3D renderer does not yet do refraction. Uh, it is something I'm working on uh, and hopefully I'll get it working soon. Uh, anyway, so the 10 kilometer uh, column should have a hidden value of 2 meters, uh, 20 kilometers away 17 and a half, 30 k's is almost half of it gone, uh, 40 k's it's almost all gone, uh, and at 50 k's, the hidden amount is far greater than the 100 meter height of the column, so it is <coughs> gone. All right, so let's have a look at what the 3D render looks like from two meters. And here it is. Uh, so let's check out whether these uh, calculations are accurate. So our first column at 10 k's, uh, the purple block is actually number three. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pretty close to 10 blocks, 9.8 blocks visible, that works out. Uh, the 20 kilometer block, or the 20 kilometer column, the hidden amount is 17.54, so we should see about 8.2 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and a little bit of the white one, so that one checks out. Uh, the 30 kilometer block, uh, we should see 5.1 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and a little bit of blue, that one checks out. And the 40 kilometer block, uh, should only have about 0.4 blocks visible, and that one checks out. 50 kilometer block, as we said, the hidden is far greater than the height of the, the column, so it is gone. And this basically demonstrates that the, uh, the, the calculations and the math in the curve calculator uh, at Metabunk is correct. It matches what we see, or what we would see, if we took an actual photo. Uh, so the, the curve calculator doesn't need to take into account things like perspective uh, or angular size. Those things happen as you take the actual photo.